Well, it's the end of the year, and of course, like many people who have a channel, they always want to make a top whatever number list of something of something arbitrary and I mean, well, I'm going to do this too, but of course, mine, like always, has to be something a little odd and different. So, I'm going to bring you the top five games I play when I really don't feel like playing games. Why? Because I want to. So, here's the list. Number 5, Shinobi 3 Return of the Ninja Master. Well, you know, sometimes this is actually the first Shinobi game I ever played. Yeah, let's uh, kind of excuse 3, I mean, the other one, like the PlayStation 2 one or the Nightshade. But let's get back to this one. On the Genesis, pretty much kick your ass, stabbing people in the face, and being a ninja. What more do you want? I don't know if there's a place that's higher than this, but I know I'm probably going to be dead doing it. So, you know, sometimes you gotta stab people in the face with shurikens, or stab them in the face with a sword, or kick them in the face too. Quan Tzu, dudes. Number four, Final Fantasy Tactics: War of the Lines. This is pretty much a remake, well, a remake, a revamp, remix, whatever you want to call it, for the PS, I mean, for Final Fantasy Tactics from the PlayStation on the PSP. New cutscenes because the voice actors, my boy Phil Lamar, is in there. Uh, of course, redone, uh, redone translation sounds definitely a lot better. Uh, only problems is is that some of the higher sound effects are kind of tingy, but hey, that's a minor thing. Oh, well, there's also slowdown too, which is really weird. But hey, it's still Final Fantasy Tactics, and now I have it on the go. Number three, Guilty Gear Double X Accent Core. Now, of course, you know, some people play the other Guilty Gears, and they have fun with those. I mean, I've played a whole bunch of them. I used to play Guilty Gear Petit on the Wonder Swan. I used to play a little Guilty Gear on the PlayStation. But since I recently got the Accent Core, I've been playing the hell out of it. It's definitely good when you want to fight some people. Yeah, I have other fighting games. I have Tekken. I have lots of Tekken. I have Street Fighter. Who doesn't? And sometimes I play some Mortal Kombat. Mostly not the newer ones. But this one, pure 2D, all kinds of, it's very deep and, you know, most people are talking about Blaze Blue, but this is where it came from, people. This game's fun, that's all I can say. And, uh, watch out for the trap. Number two, Yu-Gi-Oh! Worldwide Edition Stairway to the Destined Duel for the Game Boy Advance. Hey, sometimes you gotta play some card games, even if it's a children's card game. Now, of course, my main first one I've ever played was Magic the Gathering, but hey, sometimes you gotta play something else. This one, of course, came with the anime, the manga, which was better than the anime, and wasn't beat up by four kids, but you know, let's just get off that. We're talking about the game itself. This is before the crazy stuff of five D's nuts and all these other crazy things that happen. This is the reasonable, scaled down version of Yu-Gi-Oh, but not with the crazy rules with the one on the Game Boy. So, hey. Sometimes you just gotta play some card games. Number one, Air Hockey E. Now, I can't gush enough about this game. This game was come onto the ill fed e reader, and well, it was one of the very few games that was actually original on there. And it was also one of the few games that was actually on one card. I mean, it was between that, Kirby Slide, or Manhole E. Hey, it was definitely the best one of the bunch. That means it was purely original. No fancy stuff to go with it. Now, I got one question for you people. Why is this not on the DSi? I mean, it's not like they can't, it's not like they can't hunt down the code and put it on here. It wasn't very large to begin with. Put it on there. They could have put this on the DSi. I'm, I know I'm ranting. I mean, they could have made it online and everything that made nice, you know, other things. It would be a nice one to put on there. Free, just like it was back in the day. Boom. I mean, at least you get somebody playing something and hunting around your servers. It's not like you have anything else except Dragon Quest Wars, really. So, this concludes my list of the top five games that I play when I don't feel like playing games. No, these were not in any particular order of how frequently I play them. They're just when I want to play something, I, when I don't want to play anything else. And, of course, hey, Happy New Year! I know it's probably not the new year just yet. But it could be when you watch this video, since people generally watch this video days after. And, hey, let's see if we can do some more videos for 2010. I know I haven't, I've been getting more and more out there, so let's have some more fun, people. 
Thanks for all my new subscribers that show up on, uh, strangely enough, a daily or bi-daily basis. I hope I get 250 more. Hey, it only can, hey, it can only go up from here. Hopefully, you people had a good time with your New Year's. Hope you got a good kiss in, at least, from somebody you may have wanted to kiss, or unfortunately, hopefully, no one you didn't. So, as I say always, later days. Yeah.